Welcome to how to get alerted when Ethereum gas fees are low or how to save gas fees by paying the lowest fees possible. We're going to run through a number of sites about gas fees in this video and I'll include all the links in the description below. And while you're down there, please take a moment to like and subscribe for more of our how to crypto video tutorials. We're going to start with ethgasstation.info, which is the site that I'm currently on. This shows you the current gas price on Ethereum. This is basically the cost for miners to confirm your transaction and it varies pretty wildly. It can swing from a couple of dollars up to hundreds of dollars at busy times. Basically, there's a queue for transactions to be confirmed on the blockchain by miners, and the busier it is, the more the cost which is also why you never want to lower the speed setting. Always stick to fast. If you drop to standard, you can be so far down the queue that it takes hours, days, or even weeks to get the transaction approved or your NFT minted. The cost is shown in GWEI, G-W-E-I. So you need to grab that number, which is here, 36, and then pop over to a GWEI calculator, which is the next page we're gonna look at. So let's head across to the next site, which is automatedwebtools.com forward slash GWEI to USD calculator. And all we need to do, watch out for the ads here because there's lots of ads on this page, but we need to scroll down to where there's a field where we can pop in the current GUI cost. And all I'm going to do is pop in that 37. And if I scroll down a bit further on the page, you can see what that GUI works out in real terms. So 37 GUI equals $12.36. So I know what the current gas price is on Ethereum. Now the next site we're going to look at is an Ethereum gas tracker, which gives us an overview of the gas prices over the last few days and indeed weeks. It's actually at www.usewebfree.xyz forward slash gas. Again, I will put the link for that down below. If we scroll down, you can see what I mean about having a look at the price for the last couple of weeks. So here I can hover over the low points and work out what the best time of the day is to potentially buy and sell and transfer things and get the low gas prices. So you can just hover over each little dip and work out what time it is. You can also see the massive highs here, the spikes at the busy times of the day, which tends to be early evening evening, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, that sort of time of the day, but it does vary by day of the week. So let's scroll on down. You can also see the average Ethereum costs for different transaction types. So a transfer of ETH, an approval, a token transfer, an NFT transfer, a Uniswap, version two swap, version three swap, OpenSea sale, etc. But let's scroll on down because there's an even more useful part of the page, in my opinion, which is the average Ethereum gas prices per hour by the day of the week. So this helps you spot what time of the day is generally going to be the best and for getting low gas fees. As you can see here from this, it tends to be around 10 a.m. most days of the week. It will also show you the busier times of the day, so the times to avoid. So this gives you a very clear indication of when is generally going to be the best to do your transactions on Ethereum. If I scroll on down, there is also an explanation of what Ethereum gas is and how it works. So that can be quite useful to give you an overview of what's going on with gas. But the best part of this page, I believe, is this here that gives you an idea of what time of the day is generally going to be the best to get the lowest and best possible gas fees for our transactions, mints, etc. Okay, the next page we're going to look at is specifically for setting up alerts on the ETH gas price. This is cryptocurrencyalerting.com forward slash ETH gas dash tracker dot HTML. Again, I'll put the link down below this video. All you need to do here is decide how you want the notification sent to you. So there's option for email, SMS, push notifications, Slack, Telegram, Discord, Board and even webhooks. So there's plenty of different options there on how you get the notification. Then you need to decide whether you want to be informed of fast, average, or slow fees. As I mentioned earlier, you should always stick with fast for this. Then we're simply going to decide what level of gas that we want it to be less than. So in this case, I've stated I want to be alerted when the gas fee gets less than 10 guai. Then all I need to do is click on the set alert option and pop in my email and password and accept the terms and conditions and tick the capture and sign up to the this service for free. Now you will need to confirm your email address, so use a real email, otherwise your alert won't be set up properly. Now you can actually have more than one alert set up on the site. I'm not sure how many I've only run with two so far, but it is possible to set up more if you want. And this is a really simple, great way of being informed when the gas price is really low so you can get things done while they're cheap. However, that's not the only option available. There are also mobile apps, both for iOS and Android, and I'll pop the links for those in the description below as well. And there's a Google Chrome extension called Ethereum Gas Price Alert. And if you look on my bar at the top here, this little red 19 is showing that the gas price is currently 19 guai. If I click on this, this is where we can pop in another alert setup. And all you need to do is pop in the price 
at which you want to be alerted on your Chrome browser as well. So that's another option available. Again, I'll share the link for this Chrome extension in the description below. Okay, so that's how you can check the current Ethereum gas price and find the best time of the day, whatever the day of the week it is, to save you money on your gas fees. And how you can get alerts and notifications in your browser via email, SMS, Discord, Slack, Telegram, or on your mobile through an app, which I think gives you a pretty good variety of options to make sure you save money on those all important gas fees. If you found this video useful, please remember to click like and subscribe as well as leave any comments or questions you have below. And before anyone leaves a comment below, yes, I've just realized I've been pronouncing Gwei incorrectly all the way through this video. For some reason, I've been saying Gwei. It is in fact Gwei is the correct pronunciation. My apologies. Thanks very much for watching.